Hello and welcome to another one. <laughs> Got Paul Compton here today. He's coming along for a little shoot off to the brickworks. It's quite busy, as you can see. It's got a little bit of a hike. Here with Jason Jones. Right, well, as you can see, my camera just got stolen off of me. I went back into the van, I was looking for batteries. Mr. O took over and I think he done a rather good job for an opening speech. Hello and welcome and all that. <laughs> yeah, we are, as he's just mentioned, we're at the Brickworks. Never been here before. Um, we're with Jason Jones, as you can see. Brickworks. We've actually come over to shoot the Sea Tide Bell, or the Tide Bell. We'll probably do that this evening and try and get a bit of a sunset if we can. Um, but the plan is, head down to the Brickworks. Never been here before, so I'm quite looking forward to this. Seen loads and loads of photographs. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you when we go down there, or when we get on our way down there, should I say. Right, we're heading down the track now. Um, come through the main gate up on the road, and we're heading down this little dirt track. Just bumped into a guy, or he's walking towards, he said, oh, I follow you on YouTube. Nice one, hello and welcome. Didn't catch your name, so leave us a comment and let us know what your name is. Good to chat, it's always good to stop me. So if you see me in the street, or you see me out and out vlogging or doing whatever, don't forget to say hello. So, we have been told also that the place is full of campers. Uh, tents and all sorts, so it's going to be interesting to see actually whether we can get, get a photo up when we get down there or not um, without people in it. Um, so we'll see what happens. If it's a case of going down there and making a retreat, so it is. At least I've been down and I know where it is. So that's the first plan. Let's get there and have a look at it. Because I remember someone that done vlogging once upon a time here, not saying any names, fell on his ass. And I don't particularly want to do that. And there's another one of these gates that I never designed for camera bags. Ugh like so. So yeah, we're at the beach anyway, can't be a bad thing. <laughs> right, we're at the top, looking down now onto the brickworks, and I'm sure you recognise this place. We're at Porth, Porth Wen, isn't it? Uh, Porth Wen, yeah, so we're at Porth Wen Brickworks, uh, Derek place obviously, and there's the tents that we were just told about you can see them down the bottom there camping and stuff like that which okay they're doing what they're doing out the way it's not doing anyone any harm it's not hurting but for us photographers it could be a bit of a, a bugger um, but there is an arch down there you got the lovely little sea arch and the wall that leads you through so me and Jason's gonna pop down Owen's gonna stop up here and have some munchies so we can go down there and go and get me classic little shot just to get an idea just to get me footings really of what the place is like so when I come down another time and bring Mrs C down maybe then uh, we know what we're doing but this would be better i think with some with the tide in the tide's quite a way out at the moment so i think you'd be better off with the tide in it'd obviously be higher up in the arch and it'd be covering up some of these really dark rocks but uh yeah we're going to maybe get the drone out for two minutes mr jones is uh mr jones one no mr jones two mr jones one or two who's one on which is two definitely this is number one isn't it yeah just put him at number two i'm there he's uh Answering messages while trying to get his drone to fly. <laughs> now he's got to calibrate, he's got to do that dance thing again that we all have to do. Right, I'm going to get mine out as well afterwards, but we're not going to fly them at the same time because you get a bit of interference and we don't want them crashing, that's for sure.
So as you can see, I'm down the bottom now and uh, I've come down and the first shot I'm looking at is this round building. I just like the idea of getting like a, an establishing shot of what is actually here. So you've got this lovely round building. I've tried to line myself up exactly in line with the windows going through. So you've seen the light the way through. There's a, a steel drum on that side, which is eroding away. Um, and the colors, nice copper colors are really, really cool. And then you've got the, the building, whatever the manor or whatever that would have been over that side, sorting office or whatever, that's sitting over on the right hand side of the image. I've tried to line this little window up exactly in the middle of the image. Now I know I've got the chimney poking out and it's not quite central to the chimney. It does look a little bit odd, but I'm gonna live with that just to be able to get those three factors into the shot. Cause this is like a wide shot that takes it all in before you pick off small detail. Um, F11, ISO 160s I normally am, uh, two second time, I'm focusing on the door at the front, at F11 everything should be sharp, two second time I should be able to bring the sky back in, full, full dynamic range and everything like that, um, let's put the fire off again, it didn't go off then did it, two second timer and away it goes, I'm actually using the X-T4 still, the last couple of videos you notice I've had the X-T4 out so I've got that out with me at the moment, um, it's growing on me, it's definitely, definitely growing on me. So right, enjoy this first image and I'm going to see if I'm going to find myself something a little bit more interesting. So I've gone for something a little bit a little bit similar again the camera's up really high the reason I'm trying to get the camera up high is if you bring it down the, I think there's a parallax pulls the um, towers these chimneys pulls the chimneys over and they don't look quite right so I've gone up a little bit higher trying to keep them as straight as I possibly can so I'm looking more into the image rather than up at the image again this one's quite nice I might go just a touch wider I'm shooting into the light which isn't ideal but I'm going to underexpose it slightly so I've definitely got all the dynamic range to bring out the you know the shadow detail and the sky um, but I say shooting into the light the sun's just above the uh, tower at the moment I've got two second timer I've got the two little the two round ones in front of me this time the cliffs and stuff in the background to show where it is and then the chimney on the right hand side so that's another simple shot f11 iso 160 and that's it it's as simple as that really so i do definitely need to get the interesting one and i'm going to go over and get the arch as well before it's before we head back up but uh, yeah there's quite a bit to see here but in different conditions i think the light's a little bit flat at the moment but it's pretty awesome just look at the layers going up through there it's pretty cool Let's see what we can find, eh? So this is the sea arch. Look at that, how cool is that? And I love this rusty old remains down there as well. So I'm gonna try and take an image with this. I think the color, the colors will be absolutely fantastic on the food, you really do. So it's going to look something probably like that. So this is down on one third. That one's leading up to the other thirds. And you've got the sea and the sky behind it. But I just love that. I think that colour's really, really going to pop out in the image. And I like the texture in the rocks as well. You can see, you can see the copper or whatever it is actually in the, in the rock face as well, which is pretty good. Jason's balancing on the wall. Looks like he's going for that total classic with the leading line. Because you've got the leading line of the wall coming through there. So we'll obviously get a shot like that as well. But... Uh, Let's start off with this one, because I know this is going to pop, and really, really pop. Right, so I've got the camera set up, looking directly into the arch. I've got the, uh, I've got the video on, on here as well, so I'm going to switch the video, and let's just press play, and I'll try and explain what I'm doing. So I've got this rusty drum, uh, whatever it is, down here in the bottom third, because your third line's coming sort of across that way, and across this way, and across this way. So... I'm sitting there roughly on the thirds and then this is sitting up on the thirds line roughly so I've got the arch leading through so you can see through the arch and then we've got this little patch here of worn grass and uh, grit and stuff and it's just leading you around as well so this sort of leads you around to the image and you've also got the wall coming in from this side so it makes quite a nice image on the video uh, the still's got a, a higher part here you can actually see all the way into the sky and there's a little bit more at the bottom as well because uh, the video's a bit shrunk um, but that's a shot that's what we're going to do I'm not sure whether I was actually recording the video then. <laughs> done that a few times. So if you didn't see that bit of video that I just did, it's tough. <laughs> I've already done it. So I'll try another one. So this is a shot, F11, ISO 160, focused on the red drum. Bracketed the shot to make sure I've got all the dynamic range in again. Probably won't need it. 
and I actually quite like that. That's quite a nice, quite a nice little shot. I'm just going to have a look about tilting it round slightly and bringing the whole of the drum in. So I'm going to take a second shot and I might stitch them together as a slightly longer image, maybe a two by one, just to get the, the edge of the in, the edge of the little cliff thing in that corner over there. Uh, the problem I've got this the tents, I can't go too much further around. But that's quite a nice little shot, another one done. So we're wrecking, wrecking through them quickly. I'm now gonna go up onto the wall and I'll shoot down probably a vertical shot looking down straight through the arch. Well, you've seen it, haven't you? I got my classic selfie. I had to, didn't I, really? And I got myself right in the centre of the arch, which was pretty good. Good little bit of time in that. No, it took me a couple of times to get me in the right place. Right, I've got another shot set up. Uh, the light's pretty awesome at the moment, so before I flick over to video, I'm just gonna hit the shutter button again. Two second timer on, I'm at F11, I think. I'll tell you in one moment. Yeah, F11, ISO 160, and I'm on aperture priority like I normally am. Um, so the, uh, the base shutter speed is 100th of a second, but with bracketing, um, you get different variations, don't you? So uh, I'm gonna flick it over onto video mode, and I'm gonna try and explain to you what it is I'm doing again. Right, so this time we have now got, if you look down here on the bottom left hand corner, we've got the uh, big drum down there. And again, like I say, on the, on the image, you can see the bottom of the drum underneath as well. And then we lift ourselves up and we've got the wall coming in. So the wall's leading you through quite nicely. We've got the arch in the middle and then you can see the top of the, the ridge there as well in the image. So it's quite a nice little image. Um, I like the, uh, the fact I've got a little bit of land in there as well, so it's not just plain. And what I've had to do is, the horizon is here, the uh, centre of the image is there. And I've had to lift it slightly, so I've, I've, I've zoomed in a little bit and tilted it down slightly so that I can bring my horizon up a little bit higher, because when it was down here in the middle, I didn't like it too much. It was, if I can show you what it was like, it was sort of more like, oh, wrong direction. It was more like that uh, and slightly wider. And I didn't like the idea that the horizon was in the middle. So I zoomed in a little bit, zoomed in a little bit and tilted it down and brought the horizon to roughly on the thirds. And uh, it seems to balance the image a lot nicer. So uh, that was the plan for that one. And I think it worked quite nicely, to be honest. Uh, that again was on F11, like I just said, and uh, a nice little shot. And the lights just coming and popping out again as well now. And uh, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I'm going a bit further along and uh, I'll see if I can get a vertical shot, maybe higher. So if I can get a vertical shot a bit higher up so I'll get a bit more of this S curve as well on there. Um, I'll take the shot and I'll show you the two together. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like these sort of things? Because I do. This is awesome. This is right up my street. I mean, now we've got some boats coming in as well over there. Just making a bit of a mess of the water. But yeah, the, the conditions are lovely and the sky is looking pretty promising for later on. So I've moved again, I've now got another one set up. And the idea behind this is if you look onto the video, I've got this lovely bit of old machinery down here in the bottom corner, sitting again on the thirds down this end. I then go up to this line of the thirds and I've now got the three little huts or the three buildings there, the round buildings, and then I've got the two chimneys and there is one on this side, which you'll see in the image. Uh, the sky is quite bright behind it, but I think if, it, if I you know, bracket it again, it'd be fine. But this is a shot. I just like the fact that I've got a little bit of machinery down there. So I'm gonna flick that back over onto uh, stills and then we are going to wait for it to catch up for a moment. And we're gonna focus down here on the foreground. And we've got two second timer again, F11, ISO 160 as per normal. And then we're just gonna check and make sure I've got the sky in because the sky is looking a bit uh, bright. Yeah, we've definitely got some detail in the sky as well. So I think we're done from down here. Um, got a few shots of the arch, got a few shots of these little round buildings, got the towers in and I've got this little bit of uh, machinery. So I think that'll do for the first visit. I've got a few images here. Owen's still sat at the top. So uh, I think it's about time to pack this camera away and head on back up.
Well, I found him. Look, he's been hiding, trying to keep out the camera he has. He's been flying his drone. I've heard the drone up. I've had mine up as well, which I'm sure you've already seen the footage. So uh, we're going to make our way back up now. I did say that just now, didn't I? So just repeating myself a little bit. So yeah, we're done in this little location. Definitely going to come back, maybe in some different, different conditions, different time of year, maybe. Um, when it's quieter as well, less people and stuff, so you can get a bit of a better shot. But it's nice looking at the heather. I must admit the colours are nice coming out. So uh, yeah, we will see you at the next location. And like I said, it's a bit of a surprise. It might not pan out, but you never know. We might just, ooh, just be lucky. And this is not the sort of place to come if you're not good on your feet. Thought we've took, it's about time to put out a, a small little video clip. Me and thou Jason Jones, the North Wales expertise man, are starting up our workshops again. Um, we're going to set up a couple of dates, so check out Jason's on my website. We're out of breath, we've just been down to Brickworks and we're both a bit panting because it's a long way up. Um, but yeah, we're starting up the workshops again. Obviously, got to you know, keep ourselves safe. Um, but towards the back end of the year, October, November, which is a couple of months away from now. Um, so if you're interested, give us both a shout, check out for the dates because we will put a couple of dates up for you and uh, it'll be similar to what we did last year, Dinoa with Quarry, maybe Dorothea, we're going up Ogwin. to the Ogwin Valley oh, to yeah. do the the one I don't know yeah. how to pronounce. Avon Chloy, which is the one with the nice little rivers and stuff like that. So yeah, check out the dates for that. There will be some workshops coming up. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out.